Hello friends. Um, hello. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. I don't like wearing headphones, these kind of headphones, but I can't find my other ones right now. And I recorded a video that I had previously published about a week or two ago, and I was not happy with it after I saw it, so I took it down. And I'm, I, my, I would like to record quality content for you for everybody who's watching and um that was not what I had put out and I apologize for that so we're gonna do a retake I feel like because my life is going so fast in one area that I have to hurry up and try to do things in another area where I'm trying to put something forward that I care about so trying to hurry up and put something together is not what I want to do for you. So we'll start clean. Hello, it is Tuesday here in Washington. It's absolutely beautiful outside. I hope the color behind me is not terrible on TV, on the TV, but anyway. Today I actually picked some dandelions. I found out there's a lot you could do with dandelions. So, me and my daughter were picking some dandelions today by the root. The point of this channel is to not make it focused about my child, but rather uh, what I can teach everybody. So, I am teaching her in the process while these things are going on, but obviously she's too small at this point to understand a lot of what's going on she's retaining it I get it but for those of you who can understand what's going on who need the information right now putting this out there to you so <clears throat> what I was talking about in the last video was getting a garden ready now there are, are a million videos on YouTube about getting a garden ready <laughs> and I get that this is this is you know, uh, another one amongst them. The thing of it is though, is that I have seen so many that aren't for people who have zero money and uh, you know, who are food insecure, who are not close to a grocery store. And so I guess this is mostly for those people and what I've been trying to think of is inexpensive ways to grow food with things that are accessible. It's taken me, it took me a little bit of time, but, uh, and it took me going over to some of the other gardening pages, mainly from the Philippines and Thailand. Holy cow, they are so creative with the way that they garden because, um, you know, people that don't have a lot of money on the reg, that is us as Americans, that's me, that's maybe you guys, uh, ladies, that's maybe all of you. What I found is I have a few of those bags of bags in my, <laughs> I know you know what I'm talking about when I say bags of bags. I have a few of those in my kitchen right now. I don't have a lot of money for pots. Um, I was trying to say milk jugs, but we can only drink so much milk. And I need a lot of something. And $2.99 for at 50 for these gardening containers that I need. I, I can't do it. I can't, I, I can't hack it right now. Our family can't cut it. So what I found my bags of bags. Now, I tried looking around to see if people do this. And like I said, I, I, I think it was one of the, the pages from Thailand. Um, he used a bag. All we need to do is cut some holes on the bottom. And what I did is I put a piece of cardboard at the bottom for some stability and it is okay to plant with the dirt. And it's okay to plant with. The cardboard's gonna be okay to plant with. I looked on the bags, um, 
I looked on the shopping bags themselves and there was nothing that indicates anything of any toxicity levels. So it does say that there are no, this bag does not contain lead, cadmium, or any other toxic material that may pose a threat to public health. So let's use them. Okay, so we're gonna go step by step for this. We're going to need bags. We're going to need something with a pointy end. We can use a butter knife from, from eating out, if that's what you have, because that's what we're all about, accessibility, using what we have available around the house. And for me, it was a letter opener. I have a letter opener. So I have measurements of the cardboard that needs to go into the bag as well. And like I said, step by step, we can only do so much right now until payday. You know how it is. Uh, but for right now, let's, let's get to it. All right, friends, I apologize. I put in the headphones, but as you can hear, it's a beautiful day and people are gonna be mowing their lawns a lot here soon because we've had rain just for so long now. And you can enjoy my beautiful hair as well. Um, I just needed it up and out of my face. I am sh currently showing you my watermelons. Don't worry, they're just the small plants. Uh, anyway, um, I will be transferring these this weekend, but um, I have to get some dirt. So uh, when I say dirt, I mean soil. Uh, so I need to be picking up some soil this weekend. But anyway, so this is what I will be working on. As you can see, they're beautiful. Yeah, let me show you what I'm gonna be putting them into though. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this just right. You get to enjoy Marley back there. I've also been cleaning out the shed, so please excuse the mess behind me. So, gardening when you have absolutely nothing. Okay, you can see back here, I've already used egg cartons. <clears throat> One of those is working, but because I put it out just in the elements, I don't know if anything's gonna grow. Remember, you do have to take care of these things. You do have to show them some love. If you do show them love, you'll get things like watermelon here. See watermelon? Watermelon's been thriving. If you have a window at home that you can put your plants into whenever you, so what I did is I filled up that green container with some soil and I stuck some seeds in there. And then I put it next to my window in the house. What the seeds were happiest most about was that it was warm in there and it wasn't cold out here. Remember, your, your plants are kind of like you. They're very temperamental. They're gonna, if, if you need a coat, I needed a coat to be out here this morning. They're gonna need probably a cover if it's too cold outside. So that means using another one of these and you can even plop that over on top of your plants if you need to. Just pin it down a bit. And when I say pin it down, I'm saying you can take a stick and pierce it through the top part of the plastic down into the dirt of your plant so it's covered. If it's too warm outside, you can also provide covering for your plant at that time. Make sure you water in the morning or in the evening. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. In this bin here, um, I have full of these. These are what I've made. So I got some cardboard, I pierced it. You don't need to do that many holes. This is like the first one that I did. I also got my bag, my handy dandy grocery bag, and I pierced some holes at the bottom of it as well. So that way you don't want your plants sitting in water. If your feet were sitting in water all day, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't look good at the end of the day. Think of your plants' roots like their little feet. Don't soak their feet. Also, don't keep their feet too dry. Keep it somewhere just nice in the middle. By adding these holes into something simple like this, you can alleviate that extra water, extra moisture that's gonna build up and cause you some rot in your plants. Anyway, <laughs> bag, holes, I have an exact measurement on this. I measured it out, so, and it's the back of a Bisquick box, but let me show you really quick. And we're back. 
So long ways, you're going to want it to be, uh, I measured it at 10 and 10 sixteenths inches long or 27 centimeters long. Okay, I got cut off for a second there, apologize. And then you want your width to be seven and six eighths inches or 18 and seven tenths centimeters. So get one of those, measure it out. It doesn't matter what the piece of cardboard is. I know people will say you can't use that because it has a thing on the bottom. Well, it's just going to support our bag, so that's okay. You're gonna be gardening, gardening in a garden in a bigger setting. Uh, longer term, that's when you're going to want to put out a piece of cardboard that doesn't have any print or anything on the back and it's biodegradable that way. I think this has something to do with it being able to degrade, but anyway, once you have it measured out, poke at your holes. You only need probably three here, three here, three here, just enough to get your water going through. Once you have that done, put the print part on the bottom part of the bag. So you have it open like this, go ahead and put it to that. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna purchase you some soil. I'll show you what we purchased. If you can find something local, um, it tends to be a little bit more inexpensive, where, depending on where you live. I'm not a huge fan of miracle Grow, um, but whatever. Um, that's not me bagging on them, that's just my personal opinion, or um, that's just my personal preference, so. And we went to a local nursery, and this is from Carp Carpentino Farms. And if you look at the back of your soils when you get them, It'll show you where it's from. And this one is from Kent, Washington. Right. And if you look at the back of the package too, it'll even tell you how to use it. And it tells you what the ingredients are. It has a lot of good stuff in it. So now what we're gonna do with this, you can cut your hole open in the middle like that. It doesn't need to be pretty. Just cut your hole there. We have our bag here. And you're just gonna wanna keep scooping in there until it gets gets about, about to the brim here where I have it and I'll show you a completed product here in a second.
Thank you so much, everybody. Um, thank you for dealing with my nosy neighbor today. Oh, my stuff on my face. <laughs> Um, I hope this works out for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the in the description. Uh, if you can subscribe, <laughs> you can. I hope you're outside. I hope you're doing stuff, and I hope you only see a very little bit of me. And so maybe next time I'll be cooking something. It's what I have enough time for is what you guys kind of get nowadays. Um, anyway. I hope you have a great day. I hope I hope your planting goes well. I hope I'm talking loud enough. Be happy. Be your happy selves. Let's feed ourselves, okay? Have a great day.